A team currently fighting for position as they prepare to enter SOCON tournament play is Elon's softball team. Over at second base, you will see one player who has made her mark elsewhere at Elon. All SOCON women's basketball standout Allie Ford has decided to step off the court and onto the diamond. Allie Ford has been one of Elon's most decorated athletes in the recent past setting numerous basketball records and achieving multiple conference honors. As a starting guard for the past three seasons, Ford has become a key contributor for the Elon basketball program. Now she's decided to contribute to another program as well, softball. I had always played in high school and when I came here at first, you know, I was kind of always in the back of my head like, you know, if they're going to let me, if they would let me play, then I wanted to try out. When they set the open tryout, I kind of approached Coach Smith about it and she was okay with it, so then I asked Coach Bo about it, and um, I ended up trying out and then uh, getting the email a couple weeks later. After making sure it was okay with head basketball coach Charlotte Smith, Ford tried out for the team in October. She was excited once she made the team, and it didn't hurt having four years of high school experience. Obviously, any kind of background playing is going to help. Um, I mean, I definitely wouldn't have tried out or even thought that I could even play with these girls if I hadn't, you know, played before and, you know, kind of had some success at it. I think that's why I thought that I could maybe come and be, a, you know, a help or a part of this team is because, you know, it's not like I had never played before. Um, I was, you know, kind of longing to play again. Not only has she been a four-time all-conference performer in high school, but Ford is coming fresh off of a successful basketball season. Both Ford and Coach Kathy Bocock agree that made it a smoother transition from the winter sport to the spring. When you're in one sport, you're always working out so you're in good shape. Allie's a guard, so guards always have to know plays and have to be, you know, you're almost like a coach on the floor. So for that, for me, when I see Allie over here on softball, when she came from that to this, she's had to pick up pretty quick. So she's a fast learner and learning the part of this part of the game. So that has helped her. They're both, um heavily relied on, you know, mental toughness and being, you know, a lot of mental parts to the game. Um, like with basketball, you have uh, a lot of plays and uh, things to remember. But then in softball, if not more, you have, you know, calls and reads that you don't really know about and that you have to kind of relearn, especially if you've, you know, taken a couple years off. You jump right back into, you know, something completely different, but you're also kind of, it's kind of the same. So. Allie's done a great job in her first year with the team and has been recently getting some starts at second base. While she's been able to acclimate to the game, it took her a while to adjust her mindset. Not everybody can do it. You've got to have the personality and leadership for it. And, you know, Allie being the athlete that she is on there, you know, you've got to stop and go and do things and, you know, react to things. And she's a leader on the court. And I'm a big believer that you're born as a leader. So you can't just step aside from that, when, even if you don't want to. Um, she has done just a great job with that. She has just brought everything that she has from basketball as the athlete there into the softball part of it, even with the teammates. With playing two Division I sports, Ford hasn't had any real breaks from action, and she won't until the softball season is over. She's been to the Southern Conference tournament before, but this time around, she'll be holding a bat, not a basketball. Be sure to follow the Phoenix as they enter tournament play this Wednesday, May 9th in Boone, North Carolina.